you wouldn't just uh, buy a car and, and never put new tires on it or, or do an oil change with it. Well, bridges and infrastructure, you know, they need their oil changed every once in a while to keep them up and running. A typical bridge inspection is to actually have an engineering judgment according to an established set of criteria. In this case, there's over 40 different bridge component types that have to be evaluated, and the only way to access some of these components is by industrial rope access in this case. When I was studying, I was a rock climber, but I didn't know much about the rope rope access engineer. And they talked to me about, they did rope access, and I was like, what? That's amazing. <laughs> I want to do that. There's a lot of different tasks involved, a lot of different personnel. We have crews of eight or ten people inside at one, one time. Different, different types of equipment, machinery. There's not too many firms out there that actually have that expertise to put engineers up close and personal with cable stage structures such as this at high elevations. We're inspectors first and we're climbers second. We use the, the climbing as a tool uh, to inspect. You need to know material properties of steel, concrete, timber, uh, so you know how when they sit in the elements over time, how they deteriorate and, and most importantly how our clients can repair them or protect them. I've uh, climbed many mountains around the the world and dropped into a lot of caves and so um, once I learned that I could actually use my climbing skills to perform engineering, I was, it was exciting for me. Yeah, now it's time. By doing an inspection like this, we're actually providing a set of baseline data in order to help us better manage the asset over its lifespan. We're following the ministry standards for bridge inspection in such a way that the condition ratings are applied in a very similar manner by qualified inspectors so that that inspection form can be compared to all the other precedent types of bridge inspections that have been done, and therefore the end result is much more valuable to the city. It was interesting, when we did go out to tender, Stantec were the only ones that actually had climbers on board. Um, the rest were going to be doing it by uh, binoculars and, and, and by what they called a, a visual inspection. And I think this, by having climbers, we're getting a closer inspection at a far uh, greater inspection. So I'm really excited to bring the team together today, and it's really rewarding to see everything happening very safely and going off according to our plan. Hopefully you'll see Stantec inspectors one day hanging off of other cables in the area, and we'll be doing it safely, and we'll be helping our clients to better manage their structure assets over the entire lifespan of the bridge.